Yo what's up, Kempsey here and welcome to my newest tutorial in which I will show you how to make some 2D text and let it look like 3D. So um, it's like this on my latest background, a lot of people have been asking me how I did that. So I'm going to be showing you how you can do it. And also like you can see I've got an iMac and it's a really insane machine. Seriously, um, it's way faster than my old, or that my other computer with Windows on it. Um, I mean, Skype opens up in 10 seconds. On my computer it needs 10 minutes because I've got 3,000 contacts and like, I'm in a lot of team chats and have a lot of conversations going at the same time. So I always get like a lot of message when I'm not online as well. So it kind of needs to load a lot. But this one opens it up in 10 seconds and my old my the computer opens it up in 10 minutes which is really slow compared to this one and it's not because um, my other computer got bad specs no it doesn't it has better specs than this iMac but still this iMac is as double as fast as my other computer so um, also I would like to know if my voice quality is pretty good because or bad because I'm recording it right now with the with the mic of the iMac so please tell me if the voice is good or bad if it's bad I'm gonna be going back to my turtle beach or gonna be buying a new mic or something like that but so um, let's get started and uh, first of all open up Photoshop um, first gonna be making a radial gradient overlay you don't have to do it so it's not necessary for the tutorial I'm just going to make it for the nice look of it. I'm going to be putting the opacity to 25. And what I do now is basically open up my logo. I'm going to be doing it with a logo because I have no fonts on this um, Mac right now. So I have to get all fonts first. So, alright. So, what you do now is basically I'm going to be removing those guidelines underneath them. So it's basically pretty much the same with 2D text. There's just one point we have to do something different, um, but I'm going to be showing you what you have to do there. So um, right, first of all, I'm going to be doing if you have a black text, make it white, or whatever color you want to have. You can do black as well, but for how I'm going to be showing it, I do a black uh, white text. So right, make a new layer and merge it down okay and merge it down with the logo layer <clears throat> double click it go into layer styles and add a stroke I'm gonna be making three pixels and color black <clears throat> sorry my voice <coughs> just totally fucked up but yeah um now just duplicate no making the layer again and merge it down with fuck's sake yeah, the magic mouse. It's kind of. I need to get used to it. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm gonna go back to my normal mouse because I don't know when you have it, like five hours in your hand. I, don't know, I like my I like better. But yeah, maybe if I get used to it, this one is better as well. But yeah, we will see. So what you have to do now, there is like the point where you have to do something different with the text. I'm just gonna be making text now like this it's Arial the font so pretty cool font I would recommend you to use that at all um, by the way if you didn't notice it but that was a joke maybe a bad one but yeah um, some people don't get it and will use it I know it um, but yeah um, what you guys do now is basically if you have text and stroke and everything added you right click and rasterize the type of the text that you have normally in. that's all so I'm gonna go on with the logo uh, what you do now is click File, um, no, Edit, Transform, and Disturb. So now you kind of just drag it like this, that it looks like it's going. That it looks like it's going into the back of, like into the background, and it's kind of lying down, like this one. So. What you do now is basically just 
um, duplicate the layer and the bottom layer of it, color that one black with the bottom layer, I just mean the second layer which got duplicated. So now I'll just move it down like this, duplicate it, move that one down, because if you will move only one down like this, it will look more like a shadow. Um, you can also do that. So I'm just going to be showing you how you do it like that because that's the faster way. So merge down, fuck man. Um, merge these two layers as like this, and now you basically zoom in and you use the rectangular marquee tool and just go from here to here, kind of like this, and um, use the paint bucket tool, color black and color it black. Uh, make a new layer first, color it black, deselect it, and now you can duplicate this one and put it on every side of here. That looks like this, and so on. Same here, same with here. I guess that's enough to show you how to do it. Um, just like that, it's you just do it at every single edge, like here and here as well. So this one's kind of faster, or I don't know if it's faster at all. So I'm going to be showing you the other way. So for that, you just duplicate that one and kind of move it up. Up. Down. Wait, I fucked up because I merged two much layers before. Um, so delete that. And right, so I'm going to be duplicating that layer again and making it black. So now we start with the second way. By this you just move it like down, duplicate it, move it down, merge, oh fuck, merge it, duplicate it, move it down, merge it, duplicate it, move it down. I guess that's the faster way than the other one. Merge it duplicate it and so on until you think it looks good like that so when you finished you can select all layers and wait first uh, on the white layer I always like to put like a green overlay from black to white on about 20% or 15 something like that and I'll merge it down with this one like merge it to one layer at all. So what you can do now is double click it and add a drop shadow for example here. Like something like that. Um, and now you can add like textures and add it to the background like I did over here. And yeah, um, so that would be. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. And please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And please give me some tutorial suggestions because I need some. Um, I'm kind of out of ideas for tutorials because I don't know, um, the stuff I do, uh, tutorials, wouldn't might take too long or something. So just give me ideas um, and I can pick out like parts of this whole thing so I can make like 5 to 10 minute tutorials all the time. So um, the next tutorial should come out probably this weekend. I'm also going to do a speeder this weekend or uh, in 2-3 days. And also now I'm going to be doing a speeder in 2-3 days or a tutorial. And then at the weekend is coming a question and answer video. So if you have any questions, keep them in your mind until or from next Saturday or Sunday on. You can ask them. To me and I'm gonna be answering them so uh, that would be from me I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I'm out peace